Hey, what's up? It's Amber's Closet. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with my lover. What's up, you guys? It's Amber's from Amber's Closet. You know what I want to talk about today that's been really bothering me? That's not the subject, but that was good. Thank you. That was really good. Let's go watch your stories. What's up you guys so i'm chilling with like some of my faves on the earth these dope people and like we were just chilling and we felt like turning the camera on and talking about something a little crazy so we're gonna walk you guys through what a threesome conversation sounds like amongst people who are about to get it popping no we're not we're talking about <laughs> don't give shit in the rain we're talking about heterosexual relationships sex and versus um, lesbian sex. Well, let's get out of the way, just <laughs> out of curiosity. Yeah. If we, if you were to have a threesome with a straight couple, yeah. would we be the couple of choice? Yeah. First, Will and Jada. Okay. You yeah. Like Will and Jada Jr. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are. So I would say, yeah, we'd really have to have a talk because Jared and I would be sword fighting, so we have to figure yeah. out strategies. Good. I'm glad that we cleared <laughs> that up. You can't be around Shannon and talk not talk about sex or your period of pooping like that's just it is what it is but i love it though she brings that out of me because i'm very shy and i you and i grew up being able to not talk to anybody about that so i actually love it so she'll tell me certain things but in my mind i'm just like i think all heterosexual people only have sex in two positions so like missionary doggy style yeah there's a lot of positions that you could get into so you guys Tell us a little bit about it so we can break some of our heterosexual stereotypes and then I'm gonna help you guys out. Start out with the pre, do the foreplay. Oh, so, wait. I was stuck. Do dudes actually eat the box? That's oh yeah, is. that is like a, a guarantee. But you're a rare. Most dudes won't go down. What? Like, hello? I mean, maybe in high school. Actually, I've dated I've straight heard, women I've and heard, they have not had an orgasm heard, with a man before. I've mm. heard, I've they, this is actually a very running theme. I mean like, this is, I, I think that's half the battle is that women be lying. They be faking the orgasms. Y'all need to uh, tell the man how to do it because we don't have our spots are completely different. Yeah. They feel completely yeah. different. So I feel like, yes, it is a man's job to provide the orgasm. Also, it is a woman's job to coach. And I feel like lesbians probably have that more because there's an equal. There's we not, know what we not, like because we yeah, have one. Yeah, exactly. Well, do you find, have you ever had someone fake before or have you ever faked or felt compelled to fake? Before? Yeah, yes. I've had, to, I've, I've felt like I've had it. Sometimes they're not that great at doing it and then you feel bad because they're just trying to work you hard. You can't coach? And they're like, an, you know what? I'm not really good at being vocal because I feel like it should be obvious. Yeah. So I can tell you a couple <laughs> things and then after that I'm just like, all right, let me just act like this is, it, it, I've, I've climaxed so we can just move on yeah. with the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not going to get better from here. So let's just, let's just cut it where we at. You know what I mean? So in the beginning of our relationship, I took a long time to orgasm and I felt bad. And so I would try to cut the time short because I felt guilty. But then once I started to communicate to you like what works for me, because I'm a, I'm a consistent orgasmer. I'm a big fan, if you guys aren't familiar with the language to describe your orgasm, go to ohmygoshyes.com. I give this recommendation all the time. Nonetheless, you should know what word describes how you achieve orgasm. Are you consistent? Are you an orbiter? Are you a stager? Are you rhythmic? Do you prefer pressure? So finding that word can immensely help demystify it for your partner. Rhythmic pre pressure. Rhythmic really? pressure. You're rhythmic? So rhythmic would be like... Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for that. It would be like a consistent... Yeah. yeah. Consistency. But a consistent... Like at the beginning... Sporadic. Just whatever... At the beginning, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just to get, you know, get it going. But like at the end, I just need a consistent certain pressure. Oh, I need consistent. Yeah. That's it. Oh, the whole time. The whole time. Not even just like a... I should ask you, what... <laughs> sure, dear. <laughs> How do you make me orgasm? Uh, I think it's a mix of um, consistent and also, um, I guess a, a, you, you, you react to new well. So if I do something that's new, it might not be like, I can't do that same thing over and over again. But if I do something new and it's something that you haven't experienced yet, you come quicker, quicker. So you, surprise. Yeah, you, so you like to be, I mean, obviously towards the end, like you're very, con you need consistency. Mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, leading up to it, you, you it needs to be 
massaged it around. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. I think, I mean, that's my strategy with it too. I, I like to like read body language and sounds and all that and just be like, I don't know what's going down today. How long does lesbian se sex take? It depends on what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I, what I'm getting out of this right now is like there's hella similarities, right? It's like the same because, well, if you are a good lover and you're putting time into like the pre, during, and what's going on like after or like, you know, or whatever. And so it depends, like you can have quickies really quick, you can switch off, you can do it together, you can do, you know what I'm saying? Or, or are we using what a strap or not? What is considered sex? Anything you're doing that you can climax to me is mm -hmm. sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like you can orgasm is, is considered sex. I mean, this is, I would consider that sex too. I don't consider penetration the apex of sex. I mean, it's not, it's not my, orgasm method of orgasm so i wouldn't consider that to be like the be all and all mm -hmm. and so if i got an orgasm in the theater i would consider that sex as well too mm -hmm. so i mean but what is the length of time you didn't answer the question um it can go anywhere from seven minutes to seven hours oh wow mm -hmm. statistically seven minutes is the average time that heterosexuals have sex really yeah wow i just threw that number out because i always <laughs> i always just be like i just need seven minutes of your time <laughs> 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 can, you, can I just get some minutes to Have you gotten with somebody who is usually with men? Mm -hmm. Do they have weird tendencies? No. They're mm -hmm. just like, go I with feel, the flow? I felt like, I was like, damn, your sex must have been real regular. To like, a lot of the girls that I've been with that were straight before. But I think the biggest thing was like, oh wow, you didn't orgasm when that happened? Or you didn't orgasm when this happened? Or you didn't orgasm majority of the time you had sex? Like. That's so tragic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'm out here giving them out. Like, I'm ready to yeah. give it to you yeah. at any time. Like, I got I'm ready. You. Yeah. Do you have a mm -hmm. marker of, like, this is how I know I'm a great lover? Yeah. If they have a great experience to the point of they're talking about it after or the next day, mm -hmm. like, that's my. I did a good job. I, I, I like to see the tears roll down the face. Ooh, you <laughs> <laughs> When the tears roll down. When the tears roll down after, and they're like, why are you crying? You're like, I'm so happy. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> We're, we're in the right area. Damn, I gotta aim for tears now. Yeah. You just set the bar the high for the me. Tears, yeah. The tears and, the, and the, the struggle to the bathroom. Oh, right. <laughs> that is the best thing. The but you know what? I'll honestly say this. The tears are not linked to the best sex. No. Ne like nothing. Like it's I, a connection. That's why I like, I, I think that answer, I hate when I meet people who are obsessed with making people squirt or obsessed making people orgasm multiple times. Like that's their apex of a good experience. Because some people don't, I don't like, both you and me are, me are like this. What? We don't like our second orgasm. No. I don't like it. Like, I can do it, but it's like an uncomfortable mm -hmm. journey to get there. And even when I got there, I'm like, I could have just watched Netflix instead. It's yeah. never like a joy feel like, just wait till the third time. It, I don't like it. Yeah. And so I think people, you shouldn't have a singular goal of like, this is how I know I put it down. Because it's different for every person. All mm -hmm. you can do is be like, the next day the person was like, I enjoyed that. For me personally, I love giving my part or like whoever i'm with my partner multiple or orgasms but for me i'm one and done i'm cool i'm if one we do and it again done. i'm asleep yeah, yeah. like don't yeah. expect me to be up after this i'm tapped is done I'm done man let's Time do a lightning round of questions mm -hmm. we'll ask then you ask do you have a question does scissoring work i mean it's different for everybody but like this is the stereotype yeah. but like other positions are a lot better for that and like the 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 clit on clit like that's pretty much what it is is like kind of like a clit on clit like moving and riding like i don't know for for me like the legs this way and then you know what i mean like on top like you you can kind of hit it that way um better there's like a turning around um kind of thing and you can yeah. have like a vibrator in between and that's oh, nice yeah. that like that's pretty go. lit yeah yeah so um i know a lot of my friends that actually prefer to orgasm that way oh really yeah yeah what makes for nasty lesbian sex what you mean like for example semen can really make the experience freaky or filthy yeah what Why? is that because it's where it goes like it's nasty whole, jerry come on my x or y what's the di it, i don't what's the difference between semen and your fluid nothing i mean like maybe that is a maybe it's like for me well it's, Why? Like, it's like you you could pick it up and smear it on someone's cheek and that might be a part of the freakiness right like you know what i mean like y'all you're doing <laughs> that's what i mean what constitutes for like oh oh i've had some exes that were very um freaky like and it took it made me expand my 
level for a sex. I think it's really just like maybe sticking fingers or things somewhere and then enjoying it in her mouth. Yeah. Yeah. The butt? Um, she, I have had, had someone do that. Oh, that one threw me, th threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was like, <laughs> I guess Jared, this is a question for you. Do you really feel a significant difference between the vagina and, the and anal sex? It does feel different. I don't enjoy it. I get a big enjoyment of dumb getting enjoyment mm -hmm. in a weird way. So mm -hmm. I know without a doubt that like it's painful, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like in a vagina, my brain can understand like, oh, I'm rubbing against her walls or I'm hitting the back or I'm mm -hmm. doing this and I can understand like she's getting pleasure from this. Mm -hmm. I know that the, the anal has like a gland or something that they get enjoyment from, but or just humans get enjoyment from, but it, it seems painful. Every time I've done it, like their face is not showing pleasure. So yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do lesbians do anal? Um, I can't speak for all of them. Yes. But um, I think fingers are up there. Like it sounds more, um, and there's toys that do both for you to please your partner. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, like you wouldn't take your strap on and then Go for a round in the back. No, because just like how Jared says, I, I'm, a, I'm a pleasure person unless like she really wants it. Yeah. I'm not like, it. that's not my go-to. Like there's been one person that was just like, yeah, while well, you're doing that and like stick your finger in my butt. Like I'm down, with, that's cool. Like, yeah. I, like right. a, I like a finger in the butt. Yeah, that, see? But like that's bit, cool. A, a, a dick. Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. a whole different. It's just, it's yeah. just not, it's not, it's not helpful. But I know a ton of people who orgasm from anal. I know people yeah. who, mm -hmm. Like even the vibrator necklace, they mm -hmm. prefer it anally. Like, like I oh, really, you're not supposed to put it inside. That makes sense. Anything. I mean, it's small and it vibrates. It's such a good thing. And I have to say, shout out to all the people I've met recently. Like every time I travel, a lot of girls run up to me with that, and they were like, "I love you, Shannon." And they literally. I hope you bought it from my affiliate link and not from the website. Just saying, so right? I benefit from the work I've done, but you know, that'd be nice. But no, I think it's so cool. Your impact on people's sexual life is beautiful. So I feel like we've learned that it's pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if we wanted to get it popping, there wouldn't be a lot of adjustments. So it looks like we gotta go, you guys, but it looks like <laughs> we do have to go, you guys. So I know the timing of this, this looks really sketch, but I promise you guys, the camera really did cut off on us. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you subscribe to Shannon and go and follow Jared and download all his music. This is my family. Like, I love these people. Please go and support them. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon with more videos coming up. I promise you, okay? So stay amazing, stay proud, stay woke. I love you. Peace.